तो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन टू दिस यूट्यूब चैनल सो दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ सिलेनियम फ्रीकुंटली आस क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द टेन क्वेश्चन दैट आर फ्रीकुंटली आस्क इन द इंटरव्यूज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वट आर द ब्राउजर विच आर सपोर्टेड बाय सिलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर सो दीज आर द लिस्ट ऑफ ब्राउजर एस आर सपोर्टेड बाय सिलेनियम वेब ड्राइवर सो इंटरनेट एक्सप्लोर Firefox, Safari, Chrome, Opera, these all are supported by Selenium Web Driver. So let's move to the next second question. So the second question is, what are the testing types supported by Selenium? So this is the frequently asked question in the interviews. So you have to answer that Selenium supports regression testing and functional testing. So here are the definitions of regression testing and functional testing. So regression testing, it is a full or partial selection of already executed test cases that are re-executed to ensure that existing functionality is working as expected and second functional testing is functional testing involves the verification of every functionality of the application with the required specification so these are the two testing types supported by selenium regression testing and functional testing so let's move to the next question so a third question is what is selenis so selenis is the language used to write selenium commands so whenever someone ask you that what is selenis so you can simply say that it is a language used to write selenium commands so let's move to the fourth question so the fourth question is what is difference between assert and verify in selenium so there are two terms one is assert and one is verify so in assert if the condition is false the execution would stop and no further executions would be executed but in the case of verify if the condition is false then it is not going to stop the full execution it is going to execute all the rest of the steps so that is the basic difference between assert and verify and you can you can see this definitions that i have already written here so let's move to the next question so the next question is what is an xpath so xpath stands for extensible markup language so you can clearly see that xpath is used to locate a web element based on its xml path so that is what xpath is it is kind of locator you can say so let's move to the next question the question is what is difference between the single slash and the double slash in xpath so if you see here the single slash is used to create a xpath with absolute path it means that xpath would be created to start selection from a document node or start node whereas in double slash we use it to create xpath with relative path it means the xpath would be created to start selection from anywhere within the document so double slash is always recommended rather than a single slash so let's move to the next question so the question is which is the latest selenium tool so as i said in the last video selenium is a full package which includes a different components so latest component is selenium web driver and rest four are i want you to watch the first part of the video in that the question is there what are the different component of selenium so let's move to the another question so the question is how to launch chrome browser using selenium web driver so web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver so this is a syntax in which web driver is an interface and chrome driver is a class so that's how we launch chrome browser in selenium web driver so the question is how to type in a text box using selenium so if i want to enter something in text box how can i do it using selenium so this is a simple method that selenium has a send keys you just have first to identify the web element and then you have to use a send keys method and in that you have to pass the string whatever you want to send in that text box so that's how we send the any string or any text in a text box so let's move to another question so the question is what are the different methods to assert an element that is displayed on the screen so these are the methods that selenium provides which is is displayed method is selected method and is enabled method so these the these are the methods that you can use to assert an element that is displayed on the screen 
so that's all from the second video i hope you like the video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel thank you